for my master's thesis, I'm doing research on plumage characteristics as social signals in wood ducks. I'm primarily looking at the female plumage, um, the white patch of feathers around the eye. It's a really variable um, trait. Some individuals have really small patches and other individuals have really large patches. So I'm trying to see if there's any patterning to that in relation to reproductive success um, or fitness. And so every time I catch a bird to band them uh, during the breeding season, I'll take measurements and also photographs of the bird's head, each side of the head, to get um, both white patches. And then I've also been taking a little bit of blood from some of the birds, taking it back to the lab and seeing how well it can kill different um, microbes. So in order to get um, an estimate of the bird's immune function. So hopefully something will come out of that. All right, so we're gonna go look in this box over here. The one that we just saw the female going into. I'm just counting the eggs see if there's any new ones since yesterday. So you can see all of these are numbered. A bunch of eggs that are cold. Um, there's only a tiny little trace of down feathers. Um, so hasn't started being incubated yet. They're cold as in they're not like being incubated yet. When a, when a bird is actively incubating the nest, the eggs are really, really warm. And so it's pretty easy to tell if it's being incubated or not. And also there'll be a, usually there'll be a lot of down in the box. This one hasn't started to be incubated yet. That's why the male is accompanying her. They were perched together. So while the female's laying, the males will often accompany the females to the box, guarding them. So this other female sitting on the box, she might go in and lay an egg. It's an example of brood parasitism. Wind ducks are conspecific brood parasites, meaning that they will lay eggs in nests of other individuals of the same species, like this female that's perched on top of the box right now. It looks to be about 25 eggs, perhaps. And you can see that there was the down feathers around the edges to help insulate the eggs when she's incubating. 25 eggs means that there's more than just one female laying eggs. Usually if there's more than 16 eggs, you can assume that the nest is being parasitized by at least one other female. Some other birds were laying eggs in this box and she is the one that's incubating it. This box the one that we just saw the females going in and out of. And there are 12 eggs that are labeled. So they were already in here when I looked in the box last, except for one egg. So this one might have been laid by one of the females we saw going in and out of the box. This egg is unmarked, so that means it was laid sometime between yesterday morning and this morning should have a female incubating. So I'm just gonna plug the hole. This is just her first week of incubation. Usually we wait until the third week of incubation because once they've been sitting on the nest for three weeks, out of their four week incubation time, they've invested a fair amount of effort into it. So they're much less likely to abandon or get scared off the nest. You can see here on the leg, the federal issue band that someone put on a couple years ago. And she also has a CWA web tag on her toe. So it has a number here on the top and then on the bottom it says CWA. That means that she was caught when she was a duckling. So we know that she was born here at Conway Ranch. Web tags are nice because you know exactly what year the bird was born in. Um, with banding, uh, when you catch the birds as adults, you can just know, you can just age them by wing plumage to hatch year or after hatch year. So if they're one year old or more than one year old, if 
female wood ducks are really pretty up close. They have the blue on the secondary. And then all these feathers that look brown from far away are actually blue and purple iridescent when you see them up close. And then the underside of the wing is white with brown spotting. So we, when, we put the, when we're done um, banding or measuring the birds, we put them back in through the entrance hole. They are a lot calmer when they go back in that way than if we put them back in the top, how we took them out. So usually we'll just guide the head in a little bit and usually they do the rest. And back in she goes. So she was a good sport.